Many thanks for choosing us. Let's begin with some youth of the New Patriotic Party in the Yendi constituency in the northern region who have destroyed parts of the constituency office over a register purported to have been compiled by the party for polling station executives. According to the youth, the executives had promised not to contest elections for the polling stations except 37 new ones created. The youth claimed the executives had taken a decision because the work they put in in winning the Yendi seat but last month, there were agitations over that decision, forcing the party to open the elections for all, which was supposed to be held on a yet-to-be-named date. But last night, a register was shared on social media, purported to be the new register. This angered the youth who vandalized property belonging to the Member of Parliament for the area and other party signed boards in the town. Some of the youth spoke to the media. Nayil Fong Saf, Electoral Area Coordinator. I'm the secretary to the movement of coordinators in Yendi constituency. Our message is simple and clear. We have witnessed some uh, corrupt compilation of our constituency police station executive album. And I have witnessed in 2013, in 2017, We've never compiled our police station executive album anywhere apart from Yendi. This time, this time, what we are witnessing is that we, the constituency chairman, and some serious executive in Yendi do not know where to locate the album. Meanwhile, we were told they formed a committee headed by one gentleman from Tamale representing the regional, the regional chairman of MPP, which they're supposed to hold a meeting in Yendi here, discuss among themselves, and resolve on an issue which is going to be compilation of our new register. They sat a meeting and concluded in the meeting that they are maintaining all police station executives who were there in the 2020 election because of the hard work that they were able to expedite. Today, we have witnessed some social media pictures and album indicating that there are some slight or heavy changes in this our old police station executive album, which we are here to register our displeasure to the constituency executive, that we will not take it, we will fight it, we will do everything possible within our means to make sure that what we use to compile our police station register is what we are going to, but any fake register will not take it. No individual in Yendi or wherever is bigger than the people of Yendi. We are more united before some people join us we want to see them running away and we'll still be united. Thank you very much. I'm Abukara Abdullah Fishini, the electoral area coordinator for Yendi Senior High School electoral area. Yeah, we are here this morning to express our displeasure about what is going on in this constituency. Over the few days ago, we realized that there have been a register flying on social media purported to be coming from the MP and his caucus, telling us that this is the register they have built for the constituency. But uh, prior to the building of the register, we were told on radio, and the constituency secretary made police station chairmen, secretaries, and coordinators, and informed them that no existing police station executive will be removed from the album. But today, the album that is in the social media circulating is reported to to have removed about 165 existing police stations. What we realize in that register, in that so-called fake register, is that they have put family and friends, husband and wives, and people who are also there who do not vote in the various police stations that they put them as executives. But if you look at our law, it is stating that even before somebody, I mean, propose you to be a police station executive, the person must be a voter of that police station. But what are we seeing now? Somebody will be voting in Yenisei Yenisei School, and they make the person a police station officer actually here. This is uncalled for. We are going to resist it. But we have lost confidence in regional executives, and we realize that they have been bought. And we in Yeni cannot be bought by anybody. We were here struggling for the party, and they were nowhere. They were not even voting until they come to use their resources to take over the constituency. We are not going to allow this. We are truly party members. We have never shaken before, and we will never shake.
My name is Mohamed Sayyid Bo. Police Station Secretary of the Swahili Junior High School. In fact, what is happening in Yendi, the party executive should look at it in a very critical eyes. Because we will not allow so called the register that we have been seeing in this constituency. Why should we, our register, our own constituency register, is being compiled in Tamale? How can that be possible? It was agreed that all the polling is existing uh, executive will not be removed. But what we can see in the album is totally different from the message that they gave us. And then look, look, young people, when they love to love yourself, if you go over what they wish, you will hear what you do not expect. How could you pick someone and his wife, someone and his brother, someone and his sister? So, and family and friends album. That is what the, that is what the, the best criteria. And we will not accept it. Let's get on to Zoom and speak with Evans Nemakun, his Director of Elections of the NPP. I'm grateful for your time this morning. Uh, Mr. Nemakun, what is this new register that uh, the people in the Yendi constituency are talking about that has popped up on social media and which they say is angering them and has resulted in this? Well, uh, thank you for having me. I think that uh, party members in Yendi constituency should exercise patience and use party arrangement to uh, seek for information. I'm aware that uh, at the commencement of this whole exercise, petition was submitted to the national office for procurement of forms, and that was given. I'm aware the committee has been working. And this committee is composed mainly of constituency executive, constituency chairman, secretary research and elections, electoral uh, IT coordinator, council of elders and patrons, all these personalities are from the constituency. They are not from the national secretary. It is only the regional rep who is from the regional executive committee. And so where it is based on allegation, uh, it, it really uh, baffles my mind. I, I expected that the, the leadership of this group will take steps to reach out to the national secretary. They petitioned national secretaries. They went to court. They were at court Friday in Tamale. So I'm surprised that today this is the action uh, they will undertake. It is very unfortunate, and we will want the regional party to go into it and submit a report to the party leadership for an action to be taken. But, but last week you told us that all the pockets of violence that has been registered in uh, the various uh, constituencies are being addressed at the national headquarters. But it does seem that uh, this uh, confusion is not going away, at least for the time that this polling uh, executive's election is ongoing. Well, as I said, uh, there's a committee that is uh, taking care of all these petitions that have been submitted. As we speak, we are about to engage Sisala East and Sisala West, Padasu constituency, Mansia North, Tano North, and Asante Achim Central. So it's an exercise ongoing. The party has also sent out nomination forms for electoral coordinator elections uh, for the process to start. And so uh, an internal elections processes are ongoing. Uh, strictly, we want the committee to comply with the directive giving. We also expect membership to show high level of discipline. I mean, some of the things that sometimes we see are, are alien to the new patriotic party. I'm urging members who feel aggrieved to submit petition and they'll be given hearing. Uh, we are seeing Yendi, uh, it's, it's unfortunate. I expected that the, the, the directive given that people should resort to internal arrangement would have followed. They didn't hit to that. They went to court. And so once we are at court, we are in the hands of the court. And, 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 and if you are seeing this, you've gone to court Friday and Monday morning, you are undertaking this act. It's unfortunate. And party leadership will take action on, on these things. But exactly what action would you take on this? Our party constitution is clear that if you fail to comply with internal arrangement to seek review, decisions are there to be followed by uh, the disciplinary committee, which will be submitted. 
Evans Nimakon, he is Director of Elections of the NPP. He says the party will take action against uh, people who are not uh, really doing the right thing. And he's aged all uh, to be calm and also submit their grievances to the committee that is dealing with uh, some of the challenges in the polling executives' elections of the NPP.